I'm here outside the Beaver Creek uh, boundary in the in the backcountry adjacent to Beaver Creek and I'm investigating what the snowpack looks like. We've had a couple of skier triggered avalanches around here on northerly facing slopes and uh, seeing we we have some preserved surface hoar. Just did an extended column test and got a failure on 13 taps that propagated on that surface hoar. Uh, it's really easy to see, there's no question about it. I have a little bit of a storm slab up top and then underneath here you can see some really big um, probably about three or four mil surface hoar. So we do have a big problem here. I'm on pretty much a flat slope. Uh, normally I'd feel comfortable digging around 30 degrees, but not today. Uh, these avalanches can break on really low angle slopes uh, from 30 to 35 degrees and uh, won't be going around those today. So I was just hiking up around this boot pack here and I just stepped off just to the side of the boot pack and got a big collapse on this slope. You can see the cracks in the snow here. Right now I'm standing on about a 25 degree slope. The slope wasn't steep enough to slide. You can see all these cracks across this slope. I'm at the site of an avalanche uh, that occurred three days ago and was triggered by a skier. Uh, you can see their entry tracks above the crown. And uh, they took a ride in this avalanche and uh, were buried by this tree below me. And they were able to get help using their cell phone somehow and because uh, they were unable to uh, get themselves out of this out of this burial. Looking at the crown here, here's the crown. I dug back into it a little bit. So we've got, got a pretty good slab and then really hard snow underneath this weak layer. Uh, it's gonna last for a while. Originally this was a storm slab, but now that uh, this weak layer uh, is buried, it's persistent, it's gonna last for weeks. Um, we really have to be careful. Right here, I'm in this big open meadow. Um, it looks relatively harmless, but really dangerous uh, if you're caught in an avalanche and got swept into some trees. Um, the slope angle here is uh, upper 30s, so definitely right in the bullseye for avalanche terrain. Uh, but it mellows out really quickly to uh, 30 degrees, so it would be easy to uh, be caught off guard looking at the lower angle slope below. But we really have to be careful these big openings in trees right now, uh, especially the west side of the zone, Beaver Creek Vale area, uh, in the backcountry around those areas. And the, um, you just have to, this, this layer is not going anywhere for a while. The overall avalanche danger today on January 29th is moderate. It is possible to trigger a persistent slab avalanche in specific places such as open slopes and meadows in the trees. Remember, you can travel safely in some areas at a moderate danger, but potentially dangerous human-triggered avalanches are possible in the areas we are highlighting.